Welcome back to software testing interview question series. This is your instructor Rahul Shetty. So as you know that we have successfully completed a good number of interview questions um, explaining the whole process how it happens in real time with clear answers and specifically these questions are carefully selected based on the students feedback and their real world interview experiences. So now I am taking the question from Nikita. So she got a question about what are the factors you consider when you are asked to choose an automation tool for your application. Okay. So obviously I think this is one of the common question you usually get. So that way people try to understand how you look at the tools. Is it something you stick to only the tool what you have knowledge in the prior or you are enthusiastic to explore the new tool as well as per your application needs that is something people checks so whenever in any company if you are in a leadership level or even if you are in a senior engineer level if you have asked to choose an automation tool just don't go blindly about what is trending in the market there are a lot of things you need to consider the way you answer this question really shows your leadership and experience skills on QA side. The first thing, assess the team existing proficiency, right? So you have given a team of five people or at least you are part of the five people. Even if you are not a lead, just because you are a senior or good at automation, your manager asked you to you know, try out any tool for application. You need to first talk with your team to assess their existing proficiency. Right. So let's say all your team is very good at Python. You can't randomly bring JavaScript from nowhere. Right. So you need to first understand what is their background, what they're currently doing as per their project and the upgrade upgrade should not be whole 360 degree shift. Okay. So that thing you, you should decide and sit with your team to understand. Even let's say if you want to move to Java, then what is their uh, pickup level? How quick they can learn? That is something you need to discuss. So if you are choosing something beyond their programming skill, then you should also come up with a plan on how you are going to onboard your team members to that level. So without that clarity and information, you cannot just randomly bring the tool from nowhere. Okay. So the one good thing is, if you take Selenium, it has in Java, JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, all the languages it have. So it is easy. And even in the JavaScript tools like Playwright, Playwright also you can use with Java, JavaScript, all that languages. But Cypress, you can use either JavaScript or TypeScript. But again, you know, you need to choose a language and choose a tool what matches with your uh, team's ability. Okay. And another big question you need to keep it yourself. You know, these days it's just not about UI testing, right? You need to do API testing, UI testing, if possible, integration testing. It's all part of a QS effort. So do we need a common framework or do we need to build two separate frameworks, one for API, one for UI? You need to think about it as well. So there are pros and cons for both the approaches, like having one common framework for UI and API and having separate repos that I would address in another uh, video, but you need to think about what is your strategy here. So let's say you want to use a common framework, then I would suggest use Cypress or Playwright because you know, they also support uh, API testing, including UI testing. So one common framework you can use to do all that. So if you are not bothered about it, then for API, you can nicely go to some rest assured Java or Karate, you know, there are different frameworks we have separately you can focus and UI it's up to you. You can use Cypress or Selenium playwright. It's your wish. If you don't want to merge them, both can use different languages. API, you can use Java UI, you can use JavaScript. But if your requirement is just to have a common, then you need to choose one of the tools what we have right now. Okay. And it's just not about framework and tool, right? Sorry, tool and the language. You should think about framework as well, right? There are different frameworks like Cucumber, TestNG, JUnit, Mocha, Chai. And if you go to Python, there is something called PyTest framework. So what framework you want to choose? So that you cannot randomly take one decision and build everything. So the systematic way 
the way how you need to explain in an interview is you need to involve people that is what they want to know instead of you taking the solo decision so you develop a bits of pocs like develop at least three to four pocs with one simple test you know just a basic framework skeleton and present to your managers or anyone who is in your higher authority showing them how the test is written with this framework how test looks in cucumber how test looks in test ng how the reports are generated with this you know everything how logs are generated with this how screenshots are captured small small samples you have to show and you need to make a table of pros and cons of each small unit pvc what you take okay so all these you need to consider and show them and take a sign off take the collective feedback from everyone in that meeting you note it down and then you give a final presentation based on people a uh, feedback so that is how systematically you have to approach and decide choosing automation tool so that way if something goes wrong in the future also you will not be the only person who takes the responsibility because you have presented everything shown it taken a feedback and in the beginning itself on programming language you spoke with your team on their caliber level that means you are involving people but you are taking giving them options and choosing the decision right so that's how you should approach when you are asked to choose an automation tool for application you have to consider factors not just a factor of tool it's a factor of how you involve with your teammates okay so with that all decision you need to choose programming language common framework or not if so which framework these are the factors you decide and start with your um, development but i saw many people answering this question in very wrong and foolish way um i heard few answers like i'll go with uh, playwright or cypress because it is a fast than selenium that's so blunder what is fast let's say hardly it is taking one or two seconds more so obviously you run your whole framework in nightly jenkins jobs taking 10 15 minutes more it's okay for that you don't wholly switch a framework right so people will just tell um xyz tool is the latest and trending or this is so uh, optimized or it is perfect don't use those words you should talk about realistic reasons why you are choosing this fast good reporting good reporting is also trash because you can make reporting for any tool because you have a programming language in hand selenium with java let's take it's open source you can have hell lot of utilities to develop awesome reporting even you can use selenium python and use python library to develop nice reporting you can use c sharp so in every programming language as they are open source you can create utility in the way you want for reporting and some people say logs are good no logs also can be reported so these are answers which tell you that you exactly don't know how things work so instead of talking about that is fast that is reporting is good this is latest this is used commonly don't use those terminologies that will have a negative effect on your application instead talk the way how i spoke now about you know what are the pain points you will address from the business perspective from team perspective and company perspective like team proficiency frameworks taking feedbacks that is important All right guys so that's about the factors and in the next lecture let's see some more exciting interview questions thank you